Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Monday. Today is Monday, February 20th, and starting off today, that was Here's My Heart uh, by Lauren Daigle off of her How Can It Be album. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. I didn't play the whole thing, but uh, you're welcome to go and listen as well. That was Here's My Heart uh, by Lauren Daigle. So today we're in Genesis. Uh, we we've, uh, we were in Genesis a couple days ago. Well, we're back. We're back in Genesis 3. Um, specifically, I'm going to be looking at verses 11 through 13. Genesis 3, 11 through 13. So the very beginning of the Bible. And we're going to be talking about taking responsibility. Oh. So uh, I invite you to turn in your Bibles. I'm glad you're with us, praying for each one of you. I'm glad you're here today. Uh, it's good to be able to start the day with you. Um, so as you turn to Genesis 3, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. Um, and I'm glad to start the day with you. So let's take a look at Genesis 3, beginning in verse 11. Verse 11. 
He said, God, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of uh, from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this that you have done? And the woman said, the serpent tricked me and I ate. Today's devotion is entitled, Take Responsibility. Have you ever witnessed a scene between two rowdy siblings who don't want to get in trouble for breaking a fragile item while doing something they weren't supposed to be doing? Chances are, each one blames the accident on the other or on the dog. Rarely does the culprit confess immediately. That's called human nature. And it's been going on since the first man and first woman were created. In the Garden of Eden, God knew that Adam and Eve had sinned. Adam blamed Eve and Eve blamed the serpent. And as we see in today's scripture, both Adam and Eve sinned, but neither accepted responsibility for their actions. Unwillingness to take responsibility for one's own actions, one's own actions, is a major reason some people are unhappy and unsuccessful. Blaming someone else when things go wrong is a sign of immaturity. To become everything God wants us to be and to enjoy the fullness of God's good plan for our lives, we must learn to take personal responsibility whenever it is appropriate to do so. It may not always be comfortable or easy, but it is always the right thing to do. Now, before I move on, I want to just highlight something that she wrote, that it is um, that we want to make sure that we're taking personal responsibility when it is appropriate to do so. Because sometimes people take responsibility for things they think they should that really weren't their responsibility. So I'm going to lay that out ahead of time. But I do want to highlight the more I go through life, I see how people's unwillingness to take responsibility and people's unwillingness to acknowledge when they've hurt someone or when their words have harmed someone, people's unwillingness to ask forgiveness or to say, I'm sorry, or to acknowledge that their actions may have harmed another, that unwillingness, oh, it leads to all kinds of problems. Uh, not only for the person that's unwilling to take responsibility, but for everyone around them. When we are unwilling to say, I'm sorry, or that was my fault, it sets up a system where we cannot trust one another. And without trust, we have nothing. We have to be able to trust one another. And trust is built, not that we never harm each other, because we do. Sometimes our words are harmful. Sometimes our actions are harmful. But if we are not willing to take responsibility, if we can never say, I am sorry, or I was wrong, I shouldn't have done that to you. Please forgive me. If we can't do that, then we don't have trust in our relationships, in our systems, in our political world. It, 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 info, it's, it, it's everywhere. If we cannot take responsibility and say, 
I should have done better. I will try and do better next time. Then we lack trust. And without trust, everything else breaks down. I mean, look around. Look at the places that, that there is not trust. If we cannot say, I'm sorry for my part in something. You know, sometimes it's not just a personal thing. Sometimes it's our part in systems or structures or community, uh, uh, being a part of a community that maybe has been harmful to others. We have to learn to take responsibility, to acknowledge when we have done harm to others. It is the only way that we can exist together, that we can trust one another, that we can walk with one another. And so today, what are those places that you're having a hard time acknowledging that maybe Maybe it was your fault. Maybe you should have chosen better words. Maybe I should have thought through before I said that. There's always an opportunity to say, I'm sorry, forgive me, I will do better. And God will lead us. They're hard, hard conversations. Our egos sell it, are screaming as we're doing them, but they are the only way that we can live together in faithful, trusting community and relationships. So as we come into a time of prayer, what are those things, those places where you need to take responsibility to ask forgiveness, to acknowledge your wrongdoing. Oh, Pastor, we don't want to hear these things. What are those things that need to be lifted up this day? Let us pray. God, we come this day acknowledging that we are more like Adam and Eve than we want to admit. We blame one another. We don't want to take responsibility. It's easier to hide or to say nothing or, or hope that it'll just go away. And yet we know that when we let our pride keep us from acknowledging our wrongdoing, we miss out on a fuller relationship with one another and with you. Help us, Lord, this day to lay down our egos, our pride, to acknowledge the places that we've harmed one another and harmed ourselves as well. Lead us into more faithful relationships with one another and with you, Lord, this day. Help us to, to acknowledge our harm, to do good, to care for one another, to admit when we're wrong, and to ask forgiveness. These are very hard things, Lord. We see it over and over in, in your word. We see your people not willing to admit responsibility. Help us to do better. Help us to care for one another better. Lead us into the wholeness, into the grace that you offer us again and again. 
We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So, what are the things that God is leading you to? to take responsibility for, to ask forgiveness for this day. God will be with you as you walk into those places. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Have a very blessed day, and I will see you back in person tomorrow. Bye, friends. <laughs>